Gingerbread man? Hey! No. You're not gonna interrupt my introduction of this episode. Stay away or I'll eat you up. Anyways. <clears throat> Hello guys. Welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I finally made it out of Rock Tunnel. Now let's see how many trainers are left before Lavender Town. Let's see. There's a hiker over here. My Embark has how much? 15 HP. I think it's wise to use a Super Potion. Unless I want to make my way down to the Pokemon Center first, but nah. I'll just heal up with one of these. There. Alright, almost to Lavender Town. Let's take on this hiker and just get him out of the way. Well, might as well take him on anyways. There's an item right down there. We hikers are naturals at climbing mountains. Alrighty, let's see what your name is. Clark. There's Clark uh, Griswold. Uh, what's that expedition group called? Uh, Lewis and Clark. <laughs> Clark Kent. That's all the Clarks I can think of. But anyways, let's see. Two Pokemon. I wonder what an outrage will do against this Geodude. I know it'll do neutral damage, so I guess I'll go with it. Just please take it out. Oh shoot, not good. A oh, rock slide! Oh my god, that's tough. Ugh. Good thing I used a super potion. Get rid of this rock. Okay, there's one, but there's still one more to go. Whew. Oh great. Nah, that's not good. It is a graveler. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I think I'll go with grape juice. Yep. Ah, let's take a break and bark. You're a little wounded. I think that graveler would wreck you all over the place. Let me see what I can do with this graveler here. Uh, I can use leech life. But let's start with the crunch first. See if I can lower its defense. No. Ooh, rock slide. Uh. Jeez. Rock slide is heavy. I just realized too, it did 36 damage exactly. If it does the same exact thing the next two turns, that means uh, grape juice would get a knockout. I mean, it would be knocked out. But I can stop that with leech life. <laughs> so no need to be a laver on that. I almost knocked it out, though. And Grape Juice might actually get a level up, too. Ha! You missed. Ooh, should I take my chances to go with the Wing Attack? Yeah, let's see if I can knock it up with Wing Attack. I'm just being a goof here. Yeah, I actually did. Cool. Now, will this be the level up that I need? Yup! There you go, Grape Juice. Will I get a new move? I don't think so. Nope. Now, go find Lewis and do another expedition. I can't remember what they did. It's been a long time since I was learning about U.S. history. But anyways, whew, I'm worn out from walking through that tunnel. Alright, let's see what this item is. Hey, convenient. Nothing wrong with free great balls. Now, if I jump down here, that's an automatic trainer fight against that goofy Pokemaniac with his silly slowpoke costume on. I'd rather just take the other way around. Rock Tunnel. That's all it says. Mm-hmm. I see that tail wagon. I think there used to be an elixir here. Let's see what it is this time. The nab berries. Alrighty. I'm gonna sneak up behind her. I'm feeling a bit faint. I haven't hiked in some time. Alrighty. Let's take care of her too. Get some free great balls out of it. Carol. There's a Christmas Carol. That's all I can think of. Let's see. Ooh, Pikachu. Alright, I'm Bark. Let's see how you do here. You have 33 HP, I think? Yes. Pikachu does have weak defense, so you know, you know, I'll go with the Outrage. 
See if I can get rid of it. Yep. If I can do it one more time, then I don't have to get confused. That is, I don't have to deal with the confusion. Pidgeotto! Oh no! Come on, Embark. This might be your one shot right here. Oh, quick attack! Dang it! Please knock it out. Please? Oh, come on! No, I'm confused! Dang it! Why does it have to be this way? I got two outrages left, too. Alright, crunch it up. Stop with the quick attacks! Alright, snap out of it. Yes, good job. Ooh, you're cutting it close, Embark. I can't wait to get myself a Firestone. I'm too tired. I wasn't up for it. I guess you're also too tired to sing a Christmas carol. Right, Carol? <laughs> now, there should be maybe two trainers left? Can I actually jump down here? Yes. Alright, nothing in these flowers. I can go around him if I want to. Uh, yeah, let me do that first. Nothing over there. Okay, there's that. Uh, Pokemaniac. There's nothing in the corner. I don't see, see Pikachu's tail moving either, so... Should I take my chances and fight these two trainers before healing at the Poké Center? Or should I heal at the Poké Center first? Because right now, Embark is... What am I doing? I don't want the bag, I want my party. Because Embark has 13 HP left. I got a hunch that that Pokemaniac's gonna have a Slowpoke on his team. You know what, I'm gonna fight this trainer first. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. This mountain air is delicious. I said that, that onomapatea, or whatever it is that word is. Oh, I can't do anything with Trent. There's, like, the tree Trent, but anyways. I I used that onomatopeia wrong. I, I, I did, like, a... I did, ah, instead of, ah, uh, I don't know what I'm doing there. But anyways, shoot, I can deal with some Krabby Patties. Crap. No, 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 not Bubble Bean. No, no, no. Embark. No, no, no. Crap. I'm sorry. Jeez, I was not expecting any water types here. All right, Grape Juice, finish the job. He just needs, like, one more move. Here, take a bite of some Krabby Patties. Right, he's out of the way. I might as well just finish off the, uh, other trainer. Sand Slash. Let's see if I can get some of that HP back with, uh, Leech Life. Again, though. I really need to practice on my Onomo Tapeas. <laughs> ah, this Mountaineer is delicious! That would not make any sense at all! Crap, now I'm blind. You put sand in Golbat's mouth! Yucky! I just noticed Leech Life only did like two fifths of Sand Slash's HP. Mmm. Crunch. No! Stupid sand attack! No, no, no! S stop it! Dang it, I don't want to be blind! Don't make me switch out! There's only one more Pokemon, Sa as in, you know, Sand Slash is the last one! Okay, one more. Come on! No, 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 no! Stop missing! Yeah! Just one more hit! Stop it! Dungeon! Don't tell me I'm gonna get beat with Fury Swipes! This is crap! I should switch over to uh, Leech Life. There we go, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna get some HP out of that. That's better. Whew! Yeah, I don't like having my accuracy dropped. You know what? 
I also do a a wrong onomo potato. Uh, I almost said onomo potato. <laughs> I meant onomo topea. Oh, I lost. It should be. Aw. All right, moving on from the onomo topeas. Let's go ahead and just get rid of this Pokemaniac out of the way. All right, grape juice. One more fight. Hi, kid. Want to see my Pokemon? No. I don't care about your Pokemon. Well, I'm gonna see him anyways. Cause I'm in a fight. I can't do anything with Damien. A Charmeleon. Let's see. Uh, I don't have anything, any moves that are super effective against Charmeleon, but I think Wing Attack would be strong enough. Oh, jeez. What I just said was kind of an understatement. He knocked that Charmeleon clean, or maybe she did. That's right, Grape Juice is a she. Oh, no. My precious Pokemon. And that's that for that route. So, phew. I can finally move on to Lavender Town. Is anything over here, by the way? No. Oh, I thought that lamppost was a trainer. Wow, the floor is... Like, really dark. Like, really spooky. Oh, what? Cubone? Must be the infamous Cubone that lost its mother. Oh, sick rim. Oh, there he goes. But no time for that. I gotta go heal. And also, I don't wanna forget what the NPCs have available for me. Here you go, Nurse Joy. Help out my, uh, embark. Right now, he's laying down the floor. <laughs> Again, I can't wait to get myself a Firestone. Thank you. We hope to see you again. Alright, let's start with him. You know how Cubone wears skulls, right? From what I've heard, it seems people will pay a lot for one of those skulls. Maybe it's because they want to see what Cubone's face looks like. Hello there. Do Cantonian Deglet look smooth? My Diglett looks prickly. Do you want to trade our Diglett? I'm sorry, I have not given you my lucky digger. Maybe I should have... Uh, you know, I actually did not see this coming, so I'll have to catch another uh, Diglett when I get the chance to. But no, I'm not trading my shiny Diglett. It's precious to me. You're playing hardball, aren't you? Yep. Sorry, miss. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of money. There is no job too dirty, no deed too heinous. I'm sorry, heinous. No crime too wicked. Heinous. Can't believe I pronounced it that way, but anyways. I saw Cubone's mother trying to escape from Team Rocket, but she got caught. I was so scared that I couldn't even go to try to save her. Anyways, moving on. Let's go to the, uh, the Pokemon first. Because I do have some sellables. Should be down here in the bottom right corner. Yep. Stupid bench. You wasted one second of my life. If a, if a support trainer battles alongside you, you can have two Pokemon on your side to take on one opposing Pokemon. You can have the upper hand. I'm searching for items that boost a Pokemon stats for the length of one battle. X attack, X defense, X speed, and X special attack. Those are what I'm after. Do you know where I can get them? Maybe at the Celadon City Department Store? Did you buy some revives? They'll revive a Pokemon that's fainted. They're really handy. I haven't spoken to the attendant on this side of the counter, so let's do that. Alright, let's see. I have... I haven't used an escape rope yet, but I'll still keep those until a little bit later in the end. So let's see. Repel. Let's get rid of that. And the Stardust is also going to be gone. And the Pearl. What else do I have? Oh yeah, these. <laughs> They're only worth $10. And the good old Krabby Candy. With the assumption it might taste like Krabby Patties. But maybe not. And this too, I don't need that. It looks like that's all I have for now. I got 56 Great Balls. Let's keep it up. 
That's why I should keep using those Pokeballs. So just in case I run to some some really good Pokemon, I'll have a whole bunch of Great Balls to try to catch it with. But now, let's explore this town, starting with this elderly woman. Ah, the smell of incense is still so refreshing. Alright, let's see. Uh, there's one, two, three, but this house has a label. It must be uh, Mr. Fuji's house. Pokemon House, where love is volunteered freely. Let's talk to him. There's talk about ghosts appearing lately in the Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon kidnapped by Team Rocket and never seen again. And you? This town is famous for all the graves made here for Pokemon. They hold memorial, memor uh, memorial services in the Pokemon Tower for Pokemon that have passed away. And this... Lavender Town, the noble purple town. More like the spooky purple town. Do you believe in ghosts? No! Ha ha ha. I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder. I'm just imagining it. Uh, wasn't that like an old creepy pasta? I can't remember what that was called, but... Uh, you'll have to Google it. It has something to do with, like, uh, buried alive or something like that. But anyways, let's see if I can go through over here. I can. How about you? Don't go disturbing things in the Pokemon Tower. Uh, I guess I'll enter the houses. Let's start with this one. Is this Nidorino sick? If so, then that's probably why he's looking at the trash can and puking in it. That's odd. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Is that Paprika? You must be cooking something really good. Can I have a taste? No? Well, screw you then. Random picture of Staryu. You could win the grand prize drawing given out by the Pokemon Fan Magazine. The application form is... Gone! It's already been clipped out. Well, that sucks. This place is actually Mr. Fuji's home. He's really kind. He looks at the Pokemon that have been abandoned or orphaned. Like this Psyduck? <laughs> Alright, next two houses. Right around the bend here. You know what, I'm gonna do something uh, a little silly here. I get my coin. Heads, I'll enter the, le the left house first. Tails, I'll enter the right house first. Here we go. And I got heads, so left house it is. Sorry I had to do something random like that, but... Look at this kettle. I guess I'll make that as a thumbnail. <laughs> I'll still think about it, just looking at this weird, rusted, orange kettle. Let's see what you have to say. I can't... I can't ever forgive Team Rocket. Right now, we're taking care of a Cubone whose mother, Marowak, was... She was caught by Team Rocket, and that was it. We never saw her again. Is there anything, like, useful I can read? Nope, not that book. There's a Masha green tea. Alright, next house. Let's see what this one has to offer. Used to be the Name Raider's house. Be sure to name your Pokemon with love when you give them a new name. After all, nobody wants to have a silly name. Yeah, I was right on point with that. Because he did mention about nicknames. <clears throat> well, looks like that's it for this house. There's not much here. This, the same old matcha green tea sitting on the table. Let's see, it's been almost 20 minutes. The thing is, I don't really dare enter the Pokemon Tower yet. Unless I'm forced to. That is, if I keep going to the left here towards Saladon City and there's a blockade or something. But there's also the route south, which will lead to that sleeping Snorlax, of course. I'm gonna head south, because I assume that there's gonna be some trainer battles down there, so I might as well just bury the hatchet on that. Oh, here we go. Let's go over here first. I don't see Pikachu's tail moving. Nope. 
How about this? Route 12. Straightforward. I remember getting the TM Swift in this house back then. There's a lookout area upstairs with binoculars. Duh! The view is magnificent! Oh, let's check it. A forgetful old man lives on Route 12. Or so I hear. My Pokemon's ashes are resting in the Pokemon Tower. Oh, this might be the girl that gives up the TM. Let's see if I'm right. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Will it be Swift? Or will it be something else? It's Roost! It's a pretty good healing move, but it does have a catch. I think only Flying-type Pokemon can learn it. It gives you uh, half your HP back. But if you use Roost before an opponent uses a ground-type move, it will actually connect because you're roosting on the ground, of course. Uh, that's for lack of better words. I didn't really word it right, but I think you get what I meant. Well, let's see if anyone can learn it. The only Pokemon on my team that's Flying-type is uh, my Grape Juice, so I really don't think anyone else is going to learn it other than Grape Juice. Let's see. Yep, just Grape Juice. I don't really need it because I do have Leech Life, so I'll pass. And it looks like that's it for now. Let's see what the binoculars have to show. There's a man fishing! Let's see what the binoculars have to show. It's the Pokemon Tower! Well, pfft, So bland, both binoculars. Nothing useful at all. Okay, 22 minutes. I got 8 minutes left before I call the episode good there. Let's see if I can beat some trainers. If I have time, I'll go as far as Snorlax. Yeah! I can a bite here! <laughs> Let me guess. Coop, coop! <laughs> Alright, let's see what your name is, Fisherman. Ned. Can't do anything with Ned. Oh, you caught a star, you! Oh, here we go. Alright, Embark, just watch out for its water type moves. It's too bad this Staryu is not psychic type like Starmie is. But regardless, let's go with the Outrage. Yes, good job. It just flops over. And that's that. T just a small fry. Well, it's better than Magikarp, so don't complain too much. I also don't want to forget to come back here a lot later when I have the ability to surf on the waters, because there might be some items over there in the east. There may be an item right there on the, like I was just saying, right on the island over there. I want the item first. A lure, okay. Now I'll fight you, but I want to sp speak to you like this. Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. Alright, your name is Chip. Chocolate Chip. Chip and Dale. That's all I can think of. Uh oh, Polyworld. Okay, careful, M uh, Embark. Let's go for the Outrage! I got a hunch it's not gonna knock it out. Like I thought. Bob oh, Bubble Beam! No! Oh, it did under half. Alright, that's cool. I thought I was gonna take more than half. Well, making good time here. That one got away. Hey, do me a favor. Quit your Pokemon job. And land on top of a big giant cookie or something. Because your name is Chip, after all. Anyways, I'll just move on from there. What do you just say? I have a pun on my mind. I want... Oh, shoot. I think I'll just say it this much. Whatever he said, he must have been pissed. So I'll say, well, geez. Looks like you have a chip on your shoulder. Because <laughs> your name is Chip. Okay. That was bad. I'm sorry. And let's see, is there a fisherman? No, there's not a fisherman right here. Oh, too bad I can't get that Pokeball yet. Not until I get the ability to surf. 
There's an item right there, though. The Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. And guess who's gonna win? The Pokemon Kid. I'll show you. Mr. Hank. Hank Williams. Hank Williams Jr. Well, I can't quite say Tom Hanks because that word is pluralized. Hit curp curp! And Mark, this should be pretty easy. You don't have to worry about Magikarp splashing water all over you. Especially the, that my Magikarp's on the dock. Splash. Alright, finish it. I reckon he's gonna have all Magikarp on his team. Watch him have a Gyarados, though. Sea King? Hmm. Alright. First time seeing one of these in this game. Well, I'm gonna go all out. Ah, nope. Didn't quite knock it out. Horn attack. Now, don't get confused after this outrage. Eh. Please don't get confused. Okay, I don't think he did. War Turtle, two more levels to go. Poliwag. This should not be a problem. Not to strum my own banjo and to blow my own kazooie. It only takes one hit. Yep. I thought so. Well. That confusion I can rest easy on. A touch too much to handle. I should be getting close to that Snorlax. Oh, that's right, there's an Ace Trainer coming up, too. That's a sellable. Fishing area. That's blatant. Okay, nothing there. Alright. Oh, there's another Fisherman. Well, there actually was four Fishermen before the, uh, the Snorlax. I love fishing, don't get me wrong. But it'd be best if I also had more work. So that way you can make more money and buy more fishing supplies. That kind of makes sense. You are Elliot. There's Miss Elliot, but that's all I can think of. Gyarados! Uh-oh! Oh boy, Embark. You're in for it now! Uh, let's see. Dig doesn't work. Heat Wave does, doesn't... It's not going to do much damage. Oh boy. Let's see if I can lower its defense with Crunch. No. Thrash! Ooh! Uh-oh. Not good. I gotta switch out. Great juice! Give Embark a hand here. I got a hunch this is not gonna be an easy fight. Gyarados is our powerful after all. Let's see what I got here. Ah, you're confused. You dumb phony. Oh, let's go for the wing attack. Wow. That grew his pants, that's why I finished it off. I bet he's going to have another uh, Gyarados. That Magikarp! Well, I know what I'm going to do here. Embark. <laughs> Watch this Magikarp have something really powerful for a move and catch me off guard. It would have been fun. It would be really funny if it did that, but I doubt it. Oh, might as well just finish it off with Outrage. Just get out of its misery. There. Well, there you have it. Oh, I'm almost about to level up to 33. It's not easy. Now, the Ace Trainer. Where are you? There it is, blocking that item. That means Snorlax is right here. Alright, this is going to be the last fight before I end the episode. I'm just about at the half hour mark, too. But before I do that... I don't have any regular potions left, but no biggie. There you go, Embark. Because this Ace Train is going to be pretty tricky to fight. Here we go! Your partner sure is cute. Let's have a battle. 
Let's see what your name is, Mr. Ace Trainer. You are Zack. The Zack Brown Band, but that's it. That's all I can think of. Tangla, yes! It's the good old McDonald's Spaghetti Monster! <laughs> I think they actually call like French Fry People or something like that, but I get you. You know what I'm saying. And one hit. Let's see what his other Pokemon is, though. I hope it's not a water type. Got to level 33. Will I get a new move? No. Onyx! I do have Dig, but it's gonna be very wary. Alright, let's see what I can do here. Just don't use Dig Onyx. Earthquake! Wait! Shoot! That's why I'm in the ground! Ah! Dang it. That's poop! Well, here's the bright side. Your earthquake's not gonna work against my grape juice! <laughs> I will go with... I haven't used Confuse Ray yet. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> How's that feel? It's funny that the Confuse Ray hit Onyx's stomach, and then it gave him the dizziness in his head. For lack of better words. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, let's get some HP back. Oh, that didn't do much damage at all. I guess I'm relying on the confusion. Oh, shoot! Watch out for the rock slide! Oh, man! No, dang it, you cut my pants! Dang it. Okay, confuse it again. Take this, now stay confused. Keep those chickens on your head. No! Jeez, um, I got, I'm gonna have to use Leech Life. I need some HP back. Corn grape juice. Okay, halfway. Yes, come on, Confusion, come on. No! Dang it, Confusion! You're not in my favor right now. Oh, this is close. Alright, I'm going for it. Come on, Confusion. Or cut its pants. I did, but it wasn't enough! Can I get over 24? Yes. Okay, don't cut my pants. Oh! So close! Alright, finish it. That was so close, Grape Juice. You are almost a goner, too. This Onyx almost knocked out two of my Pokemon. That's what Ace Trainers are for, right? Well, I'm gonna get some Ultra Balls out of it. I've got to stop being fooled by cuteness. Why don't you go back to singing more country music? <laughs> Alright, to finish it off. Let's see what I get here. More Ultra Balls. So, pretty much, in total, I got eight from fighting that Ace Trainer. Alright, so I'm going to call it good here. So, at the start of next episode, I'll be back over in um, Lavender Town. So, in the next episode of my LP of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu... I guess I will head west towards Celadon City, because I don't think I'm ready to go into Pokemon Tower yet. I'll save that for a later date. Okay, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys later, and like always, take care.